We all know that thrilling moment of opening the box with a new MacBook, unwrapping the paper, opening the lid and rushing through settings to see that desktop. But as soon as we actually start using the thing, we start noticing all those little things that can be done better. We start craving to bring some personality into your Mac, making it more more productive. So in this video, I will show you 11 apps to help you out with maximizing your MacBook experience. I think you'll agree with me on this. The first thing you should do on a brand new MacBook is change wallpapers. Standard wallpapers in macOS are very beautiful and nice, but you can't really make a laptop your own without setting up custom wallpapers. So I have two options for you. The first one being Unsplash Wallpapers. You can download this app for free from the App Store and it will suggest you as many wallpapers as you want. It opens and stays in the control center, so you always have access to it. You can click on this update button and get a new wallpaper or you can go here and specify which categories you want to see wallpapers from. You've got all sorts of themes and you can add your own. In preferences you can also set up how often you want your wallpapers to change. I think this is a great app because all images are high res and have no watermarks which makes wallpaper selection so much easier. The second wallpaper option is the app called iWallpaper. It gives you another look at wallpapers. We're quite used to still wallpapers right? Then how about dynamic ones? iWallpaper gives you a huge selection of live wallpapers, cartoon-like, games, pets, anime, anything you want. Personally, I don't use live wallpapers, but I know quite a few people who do. It's a great way to make your MacBook more aesthetic, more unique looking. This app is also free in the App Store, but it also has a paid version that removes watermarks. Okay, now we have wallpapers sorted out, but I think there's still some potential left in that desktop. How about adding a clock? I think having a clock on your desktop is a great way of making the laptop more productive. We all see the desktop hundreds of times every day, but to see what time it is, we need to look in the top right corner which is really hard to do. Anyway, having a clock widget on your desktop definitely helps. For this, I like to opt for something classy, like an old school flip clock. Desktop flip clock app is completely free and basically just shows time. You can make it more or less minimal, change colors, etc. For those who want to see time more often, that's a great app. The next little customization thing will be top notch. This app blacks out that menu bar, making the notch disappear. Some people get really annoyed by the notch in new MacBooks, so this app will definitely come in handy. It supports dynamic wallpapers, multiple displays, and works completely in the background. Just turn it on once and forget about the notch forever. The app is completely free, but you have to download it from an official website. Almost all apps in this video are free. We all don't like to pay too much, right? You would not want to spend 10 bucks on an app that has a cheaper but equally great version. I get that. We all want to save money. That's why for this video, I've partnered up with Mint Mobile. Probably you've seen those funny ads with Ryan Reynolds and you already know what Mint Mobile is. Mint Mobile, for as low as $15 a month, offers premium wireless without sacrificing speed, coverage or data thanks to its largest 5G network in the country. Mint Mobile has no physical stores or salespeople, which greatly reduces costs for us regular users. What really amazed me was the ease of setting everything up. No standing in line, signing tons of paper, and figuring out everything. Thanks to digital eSIM cards, the sign up and activation took me only a couple minutes without any fuss. Mint Mobile didn't ask me to change my device and gave me an option to receive a physical SIM card for free in case my phone does not support eSIM. I especially love the variety of things you get in basically every plan. Unlimited nationwide talk and text, plus lightning fast 5G and free mobile hotspot. Mint Mobile will also show you how much data you use each month and suggest a better plan for even more economy. I've switched to Mint Mobile and I think it's time for you to step in. And now it's also a great time to do it because from November 15th to January 15th, 2023, Mint Mobile offers free Free, three months for each person that signs up for their first three months. Stop paying more than you need and start saving with Mint Mobile. Visit my link mintmobile.com slash and get started today. Now, who's hungry for productivity? Dropover is the app that makes drag and drop easier and much more versatile. Think about this. You're trying to copy or send a bunch of files from different folders or sources. You either can open many finder windows and drag files manually one by one, or you can use Dropover. 
Here is how it works. Let's say I need to transfer files from two folders into one. I'll create a new folder here for demonstration. Okay, here is my source folder number one. I'll select a file and just wiggle it. The pop-up window will appear where I can dump this file. Then I'll go to the next folder and drag stuff over again. That can be images, audio tracks, videos, URLs, links, anything that you can copy can be stored in this pop-up window. After I've placed all items there, I can either close this drop over window for later or just drag files from it straight to any folder or app. If I click on these three dots, I get more options of previewing or sharing these files. Where it gets really interesting is with cloud services. I can upload files to any cloud-based storage and get a link for accessing them. This is super cool, especially if you need to share a bunch of files with someone and don't want to go through all steps of uploading, enabling link sharing, and copying links. And the app is free, so you can enjoy easy file sharing and file management without paying a dime. And how about decluttering your menu bar? Sometimes you just have too much stuff going on. Many apps have a menu bar icon turned on by default. So if you have many icons up top, you may need to hide them. For this, I can recommend Hidden Bar. It's really easy to set up. You have this vertical line and everything on the right from it will remain visible, but everything on the left will be hidden under this little chevron. To reveal or hide icons, you just, you just click it. You can drag as many icons to the right or to the left left of that vertical line. You can even hide everything on the left of this chevron if you want to. Right click on it, you'll get another more transparent vertical line. Everything left of it will be hidden even when you click on that chevron. There always are apps that you never want to see, so hiding them somewhere is great. It's just a neat and simple way to make your menu bar a bit more organized and less cluttered. Next big thing will change will be window management of sorts. We all know that on Windows, to enter a split screen, you just drag your window to the left or right part of the screen. On macOS, however, you need to click and hold on the green circle of the window buttons and then select the split screen option. It's not very fast and intuitive, right? With Magnet, you can change that. Magnet lets you quickly and neatly align multiple viewable windows. When you drag a window near any edge of your display, you'll see Magnet kick in and preview the area of the display where it will snap your currently selected window. Let go of your mouse and Magnet maximizes the window to fill the tile. You can also drag the title bar up to the top of your Mac's display to fill the display without going into macOS. Less than ideal full screen view. It also works with vertical splits, freeway splits, or having four apps each in a corner. Just about any combination you want is possible. I think that this app should become a part of macOS by default because that original window management is a pain in the well, you know where. Next, I want to show you something strange. Menu Bar X is a web browser for your menu bar. With Menu Bar X, you can add almost any website to the menu bar, making it much easier to access. For example, you can add Instagram and watch Instagram on your Mac from your menu bar. The app can emulate almost any browser in case your website works only in certain browsers. The size of the widget can be adjusted from a really small one to large. This app also supports background music, so if you don't want to use big Spotify app, you can just open a small web version and listen to the music and style. I think this app is great for tracking parcels, for example, on Amazon or checking Twitter on the go. The app is free, but limited to only two tabs and five bookmarks. If you pay $5 extra, you'll get unlimited tabs and bookmarks. Okay, answer this. Do you use picture-in-picture? Picture? I do. But there's one huge issue with standard picture-in-picture picture mode. It has no controls except for pausing, and sometimes I just have too many things going on, the browser tab with video controls can just get lost somewhere. So to rewind, for example, 10 seconds back, I have to exit picture in picture, find that page with video controls, rewind and open picture in picture again. That's just a bad way to do things. For only $2, you can buy Pippo. Yeah, Pippo. 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 A simple app that adds playback controls to the standard picture-in-picture -picture mode. Quick and easy fix to a problem that shouldn't exist at all. If you are a more tech-savvy person, you may want to know what's going on with your MacBook. How the memory or CPU are loaded, charge info, network data, all sorts of stuff. Usage can help you with this for free. The app helps you monitor virtually everything there is, from battery health to memory swap usage. If you want to always know everything, 
this app is for you. And the final app is called Amphetamine. This app is great for keeping your Mac from falling asleep. Sometimes you need to download something, wait for the rendering to finish, or upload a huge archive. By default, your Mac will go to sleep even if some processes are running in the background. So you may find your download paused after hours of being away from the keyboard. Amphetamine helps with that. You can either choose for how long you want your Mac to be active, up to 24 hours, or you can select other options like while file is downloading or while app is running. These custom scenarios can help you keep Mac active while certain apps are working, which is really, really helpful. Amphetamine also has another cool feature for remote workers. It can automatically move the cursor for you. If your job is monitored, you can specify how often you want the app to move your cursor. This way you'll always be active and your boss won't fire you for inactivity. With these 11 apps, you can make your MacBook not only more unique, but also more productive. And there are many apps left for us to recommend, so hit that like button if you want more videos like this one. I hope you will like these apps, and if you do, leave us a comment. Thank you very much for guising, and see you watch in the next one.